All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, happy uh, Tuesday, and uh, welcome back. We're back with one more uh, class for me, uh, stick mobility and some suspension training. Okay, we will be asked to all through sticks for warm-up purposes, and some of our exercises today we will be using uh, a variety of the um, short stick, which we've been using a lot of lately, and the uh, two uh, longer sticks. Okay, so let's get joint prepped. Let's get rolling. Okay, so we are actually starting first with our suspension trainer, okay? <clears throat> And you're going to move it down to about mid-calf, okay? We're going to start our warm-up first. Okay, I'm going to step my right leg forward and my left leg is back. Okay, actually, let's move it down to fully lengthen on top of even better. Okay, 45 degree roll-out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out, reach to one side, squeeze and come back up, keeping pressure even on both, on both handles. Okay, your knee is on the ground, my right leg is forward, my left leg is back. I drop out, try and twist a little bit, squeeze and come back. Out and drop. Squeeze and come back. Out, drop, twist. Squeeze the glutes and come back. Out and drop. And back up. Let's do four more. Out and drop. Bring it back three more times. Out and drop. Back two more times. Out and drop. Back. Last one. Out and drop. Let's go to the other side. Still kneeling down. My left leg is forward now. My right leg is back. Okay. Reach. Back in for one. Reach. In for two, reach, and three, reach, that's four, reach, that's five, reach, that's six, reach, seven, come on, reach, Last one, and eight. Let's go back to the opposite side once again. Right leg is forward, left leg is back. And all I'm going to do now is I'm gonna open one arm up, I reach forward, I come back and I go with the opposite arm. Reach forward, next one. Reach with the right, comes back, I reach with the left. And back, reach. Bring it back, reach, back, let's do one more time each, each arm, and then we'll switch to the opposite side, next one, switch, switch legs forward, same, same idea, left arm goes first, right arm goes back, and then I reach and switch, next one, reach, bring it back, Reach, that's two, reach, bring it back, squeeze in the glutes on the right side as hard as you can, one more time each side, reach, bring it back, last one, great, let's stand up, okay, we're starting with two sticks first, we're going to go into our dead hang, our monkey hang, and take that into skin and cow, which we do almost in my class every week. All right, so let's drop back with the right leg first. Have a good grip on the stick. Make sure that you're loading the shoulders as much as you can. Let's stand up. Now take that into skin the cat. Bring it back up. Step back with the opposite leg now. Stand back up, bring it back to skin the cat one more time. And relax, great job. All right, let's take one stick now. Let's take it into our sneak reach. So let's we'll start with our left leg forward, right leg back. Okay, I'm gonna go behind the left shoulder, arm is up. 
tilt and reach. Hold. Squeeze it loose on the back side as much as you can. We're slowly going to press out of that with the leg. Let's go to the opposite side. Now my right leg is forward. My left leg is back. Good behind my right shoulder. Tilt and reach. Squeeze and come right back up. Okay, we're going right back to your suspension trainer now. Let's move it to mid length if you have a TRX. If you have something else, just find the middle portion of where it works. Okay, so we're at mid length now. Okay, we're going to work with some wide hinges. So I'm pressing wide, I'm pressing down into the handles. I'm going to widen the legs out so I can flatten the back out. Pushing onto the handles, I'm going to push my hands away from my glutes. I push away, I give myself a good hinge. Tuck, squeeze and come up for one. Bring it back down. Up for two. Down, butt goes out. Back is flat. Up for three. Out and down. That's four. Push out and down. That's five. Two more times. Push out and down. Bring it back. Last one. Push the booty out and down. And bring it on up. Okay. We're ready to go. So we will start with the stick first, but in the meantime, take your suspension trainer, move it all the way up before we shorten. Okay. Let's grab your small stick first. Okay. In the kneeling position, I'm going to tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes. I'm going to put the hands slightly wide and shoulder width apart, arms are back. And all I'm going to do is work through the rotator cuff here, right, to have it for a second, and I'm going to come up and back down. Okay? So I'm up to the forehead, a little above it, and back down. And what I'm trying to do is push it together, rip it apart as I come up. Try not to put the shoulder into too much internal rotation. Keep the shoulder blades back. Let's prep for our rows. We have one or face pulls today. Two. I like to lean back a little bit when I do it. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're going to 15, this is 10, now we have five more. Let's bring on up for five, up for four, three, two more times, two, one more time. Good. Okay, now we'll prep for the row. Now we're gonna to go to our face pull now with our suspension trainer. Okay, going towards the face, we're gonna kind of turn the elbows in the exact position that we just did that stick moving in. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna go under the foot too much for this one. And as I go towards the face, I pull up, make sure the elbow is directly under the wrist and back down. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, we're up for one, down, two, down, keep those glutes nice and tight, keep tension in your suspension trainer, three, especially the top portion, that's four, five, that's six, go to 15, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five more, five, four, just three, squeeze those glutes nice and tight, two, one more time, great job, okay, moving on, all right, let's grab the small stick, we're going to lie on the ground on our back. Uh, before we do that, take your suspension trainer so we can go right back to the back with both exercises. Move it down to mid-calf. Okay? 
All right. Start some hollow rockers first with the stick. Okay, if this is too challenging for you, stay in a tough position here and rock instead of doing a full hollow body with it. Okay, we're gonna do about 10 to 15 rocks. Okay, on the back overhead. I'm gonna squeeze the glutes, lock out my leg, push my hands away from my feet and vice versa. So I can find that nice banana position. And we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Can you put that down for now? We're going to get our feet into the foot cradles of your Sylvester trainer now. Okay? And we're going to find ourselves in a push up position. And we're going to do some pike ups, okay? So just drive the hips up to the ceiling. I like to use back to back, especially after doing the hollow rockers. Okay, we're going to do this, pike ups, about 10 of them, and then go right back to the rockers one more time. So make sure that your hands are right directly under your shoulder, your wrist is directly under your elbow and shoulder, and your hands are only shoulder width apart, or even less. Okay, elbow pitch forward, and we're going to pike up in three, two, one, I'm up. That's 10. One, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, and 10. Great work. Okay. Go right back to the hollow rockers. Okay. Arms overhead, legs out in four, three, two, one. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant, well done. Okay, we're gonna keep the TR, uh, your spit trainer right where it's at, and mid calf. We're gonna go to our lunges now. Okay, so I'm gonna put my left leg in first, and the foot cradle, so I'm gonna kneel down. We're using a small stick with it as well. Okay, trying to, I'm gonna grab the ends, just like this, Trying to rip it in half. I like doing it that way to get a lot more of the posterior chain of the upper body going more as we do our lunge. Okay? I'm going to rotate to the up leg, come back, and then we're going to stand up. Okay? So, here we go. We'll start at the top now. Try to rip it in half. We lunge down, rotate over, bring it back. That's one. Down, rotate, back, two. Down, rotate, back, that's three. Down, rotate, back, four. Down, rotate, back, that's five. Down, rotate, back, that's six. Down, rotate, back, that's seven. Down, rotate, back, that's eight. Two more times. Down, rotate, back, that's nine. One more time. Down, rotate, back, and 10. Brilliant, okay. Let me just double check. All right, we're going right to the other side, okay. Side, so this time right foot's in. Okay, we're down once again. Trying to rip the stick in half one more time. Same idea, going to the left this time. All right, let's start the up portion first. Down, rotate, back, that's one. Down, rotate, back, that's two. Down, Rotate back, 
That's three. Down, rotate, back. That's four. Down, rotate, back. Five. Down, rotate, back. That's six. Down, rotate, back. That's seven. Down, rotate, back. That's eight. Two more times. Down, rotate, back. That's nine. Last one. Down, rotate, back. That's 10. Great job. Okay, hydrate if you need to. Okay, we're moving on and we're still using the small stick for our per first portion of the exercises. And then we're gonna do something with our suspension trainer. So, in the meantime, move it up to mid leg. Okay? All right, but first things first, working with the stick first. We're gonna go into our bird dog press, okay? So, we're gonna need access to a wall for this one. So I'll finish that in the beginning. I'm gonna put the stick into the wall, shoulder, shoulder width with the ear, or leg up with the ear, ear line. Okay, left arm is on the ground. Right leg is on the ground, right foot. All right, I'm gonna start my knee tucked. I'm gonna pick the foot up. Now I'm gonna bring it back as I try to move and I come back to that bird dog position. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Bring it back, forward that's one. Back, forward that's two. Back, forward is three. Back, that's four. Back, bring it forward, that's five. Back, bring it forward, that's six. Back, bring it forward, that's seven. Back, bring it forward, that's eight. Back, bring it forward, that's nine. Back, bring it forward, that is 10. Great job. All right, put that down for a second. We're gonna do our standing hip drops now with the left side, okay? So I'm gonna have to face away from you for this one. In the meantime, if you're on the right anchor point on your left side, your right side, you're gonna put the left foot back. So I'm gonna take the, TR, the suspension trainer, grab it with my hands just like this, okay? I'm here, you see me, get your hands. All right, I'm up here, I'm gonna dip the hip, up for one, dip, two, dip, three, dip it down, four, dip, five, dip, six, dip, Seven, dip, eight, dip, nine, last one, dip it down, and ten, brilliant, okay, going back to the ground with that opposite arm now on the stick, so my left hand's pushing into the wall, right hand is on the floor, left leg is back, okay, here we go, find your extension point that works for you. Okay, got mine here. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, bring it forward, back that's one, forward, that's two, forward, three, forward, four, forward, five, forward, six, forward, seven, forward, eight, forward. Nine, one more time, forward, and 10. Great job, okay. Back to that standing hip drop once again. Okay, now my right leg is back, or here we go. In three, two, one, and begin. That's one. That's two. Dip it down, it's three, squeeze those glutes. Dip it down, 
four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, two more times, down, nine, one more time, down, and 10. Great, hydrate if you need to. Moving on, so we're making really good progress, good time. Okay, so we're gonna need both sticks for the ground, for the big ones first, for the ground, okay? So we're gonna lie prone to the floor. Reverse starfish, okay. I'll fix her on the ground. Have like a letter B, I'm gonna stand right in between them, or lie right between them. Hands are slightly below the shoulder line. Just slightly, head down. And I'm going to move the wall. And I arch up, I come to here, and back down. Here we go in three, two, one. I'm up, down for one. Up, down for two. Up, down for three. Up, down for four. Five, up, at six, up, at seven, up, at eight, two more times, up, that's nine, last one, up, and ten. Great job. Let's stand up now. Go back to our special trainer. This time, we're gonna have it at mid length. Or are you sure to be there? We are. All right. We're not gonna use the stick for this one in particular. Okay. Palms are down. We're gonna do reverse back extensions. Okay. With the shoulder right to the top. So, on a portion where it works for you. Okay. Or the distance. Right. And then I'm gonna stick the butt out. And I come up for one. I come out and down. That's two. Down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, two more times. Down, nine, last one. Down, 10, great. Okay, good, all right, we're going back to our lunges now. Okay, we're gonna take this and bring it to fully lengthened. Okay, I'm gonna put my hands both foot cradles, and both on both, um, both here, okay? My suspension trainer, and I'm gonna lunge forward with my left leg. Single arm, I'm here, when I come up, I'm also gonna do a lat sweep with my arm to help myself come back up, keep tension in your suspension trainer, okay? Here we go, step, that's one, step, Two, step, three, step, four, step, five, step, six, step, seven, step, Eight, two more times. Step, that's nine. Last one. Step, and 10, great job. Let's go down to the side. Now I'm stepping with the right leg. My hand is in the suspension trainer. Here we go, step with the right. That's one. Step. 
two. Step to string. Step four. Step five. Step a six. Step a seven. Step under control. It's eight. Two more times. Step. Pull. Last one. Step. And that's ten. Great. Let's pull your suspension training order back up to mid length. We're going to take the short stick now and put it in between the handles. Okay, and what we're going to work on is almost like a shoulder type of press. What I like about this particular move, it's really going to help keep the, uh, your back, your shoulders, anything to in that position, it's going to work the back of the shoulders a lot more by keeping tension in your in the, uh, the, the TRX. So, what we don't want is as you raise this up, we don't want any slack. Okay. So, elbows are directly under the wrist. Squeeze the glutes nice and tight. Tuck that pelvis. No leaning. From here, I press and I lower down for one. Here we go. Press, down for two, press, down for three, press, that's four, press, that's five, press, Six, press, seven, press, that's eight, two more times, here we go, press, that's nine, make sure you're pulling at the top, press, and ten, great job. last week, week before, but we're going to do it again because it's so good for you. All right, so lying on our back, once again, we're going to do almost the same motion that we just did, and now I'm lying down, okay? I've got my shoulder blades engaged right away, so my upper back is slightly off the ground. Uh, pull, raise up, bring it back down. That's one. Let's go up, down for two. Three. Up. That's four. Up. That's five. Up. That's six. Up. That's seven. Up. That's eight. Two more times. Up. Nice, hard to keep that tension, especially at the top. Up, and 10. Let's take the stick out of the suspension trainer. Okay, we should be really good at where we're at, the length right at the moment. I'm gonna turn and face away from the anchor points. Okay, and I'm gonna create an isometric uh, uh, tension for almost like a bicep curl. I'm trying to pull it down towards me, okay? There's my tension here. Legs are out, almost in a hollow body position. From here, I press out, and I go up into my tuck. I come back down, hold, and up. Okay, we got it. All right, here we go. So let's start first with the tension. Now, if your leg, if your back bothers you, keep your legs on the ground. You can still do the roll up. Okay. I'm gonna create tension in the in my suspension trainer here. Hollow body. 
Come up. That's one. Up. That's two. Up. That's three. Up. That's four. Up. That's five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. That's eight. Two more times. Up. That's nine. Last one. Up. And ten. Fantastic work, guys. Hydrate if you need to. Okay. Again, with the suspension trainer, put the stick in. Got to be lying under it once again, facing away from the anchor point. Okay. Come under. Okay. This time, on the roll up, I slowly come up and keep attention in the suspension trainer by pressing down on the stick. Legs will be down. I'm going to slowly roll up and I press to one side, reach to one side, come all the way back down nice and slow. Keep tension on this by pressing down, but don't necessarily use it to hold yourself up. Okay? And we're going to alternate sides. Press it down, I should come up. I roll and reach. Slowly come back down. Slowly come up and reach. Slowly come back down. Slowly come up. Slowly come down. And up. And down. Slowly come up. And down. And up. And down. We got four more in total. Up. And down. Three more. Up. And down. Two more times. Up. And down. Last one. Up. And down. Great job. Okay. Let's stand up. Okay. This time we're going to use just Spencer Trainer by itself. We're going to go back to almost into our lunge. This time, same idea we did with the with the eye fly. I'm going to take it into a T for a chest fly. Okay. With a lunge, same idea as before. Okay. I'm going to hold both uh, handles once again to my right hand. I'm going to lunge with my left leg, making sure I stay in a nice level position. I'm going to use this to help slow me down and control my lunge more. And I come back for one. Okay, step. Two. Step. Keep catching it. Three. Step. Four. Step. Five. Step. Six. Step. Seven. Step. Eight. Two more times. Step. Nine. Last one. Step. And ten. Switch sides. Stepping out with the right side. Here we go in three, two, one. I step back to one. Step two. Step three. Step four. Step five. Step six. Step. Seven. Step. Eight. Two more times. Step. Nine. Last one. Step. And ten. Very good, guys. 
Okay, press is okay. Great, all right, let's start some of our stretch now. Take your suspension trainer, go to mid length. These two back to back are gonna feel great for the hips. So we're gonna do our figure four stretch first, and then take that into 90 90 or pigeon. Okay, I'm gonna take my right ankle, cross it over my left thigh. Okay, as I lean back, chest is up. I'm going to pull myself into my hips and hold towards the hips. And that's one. Up and hold. Two. Up. That's three. Up. That's four. Up. That's five. Go to eight. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Last one. Up. And eight. All right, put that down for now. Just grab a small stick. Find 90 90 or pigeon. If you can hit that, great. Or have pigeon. Okay, it's not going to stick in front of me or slightly to my right knee. Pull hands on. And I'll work myself down and hold. Bring it back up. Now with single arm on it, you're almost like, almost like doing a skin the cat. I come down, rotate the shoulder, and down and hold. Squeeze the glutes on your left side. And bring your chest down towards the floor. Slowly come out of it. Put the stick down. Go back to your suspension trainer now. This time my left leg is over my right thigh. Left ankle over the right thigh. So I'm leaning in that position first. And we come up and stretch. That's one. Up. That's two. Up. That's three. Up. That's four. Up. That's five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. That's eight. One more. Up. Great job. Put that down. Let's bring our left leg forward. Right leg back in 90-90 or half pigeon. Okay. Hold the stick out in front first, and then we'll bring it to the side. Have a good grip on it. Let's bring it up. Bring it to your left side of your body now. Rotate around. And hold. Slowly come out of it. Okay, now take your right left uh, left ankle, bring it back, bring the right leg in front of that. And just aim by trying to bring your chest down towards the ground. Whatever you can do. Slowly peel out of it. Let's go to the opposite side. And then we'll go back to the stick. Okay. Down. And we'll slowly come out of that nice and easy. Let's stand up. Let's grab one of the bigger sticks. And let's go into our ninja flow. Okay, favorite. Inside the left foot, left hands on top. Grab and lunge over. Let's bring it back up and lunge to the opposite side. Now, now it's the inside of my right foot. And let's bring it over once again. And hold. And 
we're up. Guys, we're done. That went quick. All right. Hey, great job today. Thank you so much for joining on. As always, had to rock out my uh, Green Arrow uh, workout top today. Anyways, guys, great work with you for this month. I'm off next month. I uh, believe we have uh, Coach Kelly this month. That's always a treat. And I will see you guys the following month. Guys, peace and love as always. Stay mobile, stay healthy.